Did 12 times in case. Is it this? No? 4.59%? What? Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh my god, I'm a warrior. <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here to give you guys more insights about me, my life, my ancestry, the things that I need to do with regards to my diet, my health conditions and so on and so forth. Basically what I'm talking about is a few months ago I actually did a DNA test with Circles DNA which is the world's most comprehensive DNA test. So they very kindly sent me a kit to try it out. I'm not paid by them in any way to say anything good about them but in general I'm here to share a little bit about my personal experience and what I liked about it. Basically, a little bit more about Circus DNA. You can get over 500 reports over 20 different categories. It's also said to be 99.9% .9 analytically accurate. Apparently, you only need to do this test once in your lifetime because it's not going to change, like your results are not going to change. So yeah, it's pretty much an investment for your health journey because it tells you exactly what your body reacts to and if you're interested to know where you're from, <laughs> I think this is a great and very entry-level test to do. I do have a discount code for you guys to get a kit for 33% off. I'm gonna leave the code over here and also in the description box. Now let's get started. <laughs> let's open it up. Anyway, it was sent to me in a FedEx Express kit, so I received it quite fast after I ordered it. Take out the swab, make sure to not touch the swab tip. Rub your cheeks 10 times, repeat on the other side. Place it in the tube, break the stick at the score point in the middle. I feel like I'm really bad at instructions and I might screw it over, so... <sighs> Peel the pouch to remove the swab, ensuring you do not touch the swab tip. This is like their second time telling me to not touch the swab tip. There's actually a bit of liquid inside. Ready, go. I did 12 times in case. Repeat on the other side with the same swap. Really? Okay. <laughs> okay, without spilling, remove, insert it and break the thingy. Hoi. Whew. Tightly screw and shake 10 times to cover the swap tip with the liquid. Place the tube inside the specimen bag and seal it. Eh? Where is my specimen bag? So in your parcel, they should send you a bag for you to mail it back to them. Is it this? No? <laughs> it is this one! Not the FedEx bag! Seal it. What I'm gonna do is use the FedEx bag that they prepared for you. And at the front, there's already your address and everything, so you don't have to do anything. Arrange for a schedule with FedEx and you can send it! What do you know about your family heritage? Ooh, you mean my ancestry, like my ethnicity? Yeah. 100% uh, East Asian. <laughs> I wish I got a bit of Korean blood, but I know I don't lah. But my dad's side is from Penang, and then my mom's side is from, I guess, China. But I think all in all, every both sides came from China. Like, if I'm really talking about the great, 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 great grandfather, that kind, it's definitely from China, I think. Yeah, and I don't think, I don't even have mixed blooded close relatives. So I don't think I would have any sort of mix apart from 100% East Asian. Yeah. I am 95.67% East Asian, which means I am 91% Chinese. I'm actually 4.59% Japanese and Korean. What? I wish I got a bit of Korean blood, but I know I don't love. And more shockingly, I'm 4% Vietnamese and 0.19% Indonesian. I actually really didn't know that. Like honestly, I just thought I would be 100% Chinese. But 
Yeah, I'm not surprised because like, you know, with like our forefathers moving around from country to country. I know my grandfather moved from Malaysia, yeah, to come to Singapore. But it's very funny because prior to this, I texted Matt and I asked him, Matt did the same test by the way, and I asked him for his ancestry composition and he said I'm 100% Chinese and I was just like, oh really? <laughs> You're 100% Chinese? Okay, I'm 95%, 91% Chinese actually. Cool, 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 cool. What diseases do you think you're at risk of? Okay, so this one is something that I already know. Both sides of my grandparents have some sort of a cancer. So I think I'm, I'm at pretty high risk. But what I heard, right, is that you don't inherit it from your grandparents. It's more of like your parents. So it's more like direct, but both my parents are pretty healthy. But my mom's mom had diabetes. My mom's dad had cancer as he passed. So he got it like quite old. So I don't know if that would, that kind of means anything. My dad's mom actually passed away from breast cancer as well. And my dad's dad had stroke. So I don't think it's a very good sign for me. <laughs> Let's see if, if, if the test will pick up anything. Maybe it's just, you know, like, like what I say, lor, just parents only. Common health risk. You guys know I have high cholesterol. I think that's my main like health risk. So let's see if this picks it up, yeah. Can y'all see it? It's all green and there's one red, which is high cholesterol. How are they able to tell this? Because Cholesterol levels can only be, uh, I mean, can, can only be told like via a blood test, but this one was literally just based on your DNA, so that's actually insane. Yeah. Disease risk. Allergic rhinitis, totally because I have that. Influenza flu susceptibility, totally because I'm always having a flu. Inflammatory skin disease, I also have eczema. Migraine, yeah, sometimes. Hyper tri what? Triglycerides. Oh, in the blood. I guess this is what is like kind of related to the high cholesterol part, but this one for me, not that bad. Like, yeah. But everything else I'm average risk except for all these. Which is very sad. So uh, what do you think is like your sensitivity to alcohol and caffeine? <sighs> Alcohol, I'm definitely very sensitive. I know that because I just have to drink one sip, right? And I have like rashes and I'm super red, like I'm tomato red. So I would say I'm very sensitive to alcohol, but I still like it anyway and I still drink it in moderation. Uh, I'm not sensitive to caffeine, I feel. Like I can drink three cups of coffee and I still will be able to sleep. Is that what it means by being sensitive to it? So there are four types of diets they analyze. The first one is low carb, low fat, Mediterranean, all healthy balance, and it says that I am suitable for the healthy balance diet, which I am not very healthy, but I guess out of the four, I eat the healthy balance like more normal, like more commonly. Ooh, oh my gosh, guys, it says I have caffeine sensitivity, higher sensitivity. Based on your genetic results, you are likely to have higher sensitivity to caffeine. This suggests you are predisposed to have anxiety and sleep problems, even with lower doses of caffeine. Ensure you limit your caffeine intake. <laughs> you should take no more than 100 to 150 milligrams a day of caffeine, equivalent to one cup of coffee. Okay. I guess. Yeah, hmm, not very happy about it. <laughs> Fat sensitivity, I'm normal, which means I'm likely to have a normal sensitivity to fats. Less predisposed to see an impact on your cholesterol when you consume fats. That's very not true because I am very, I have very, very high cholesterol. I'm likely lactose intolerant, which is true. I'm a super taster, which I would say is true because I love like food. Oh, this is so true. Detox cruciferous vegetable needs. You are more likely to have increased needs for your cruciferous vegetables that help to promote your body's natural ability to remove harmful chemicals from your body. It's so true because I don't actually go to the toilet very often. Yeah, I know it's very TMI, but it's very true. Yeah, cool. Okay, nutrition. Oh my gosh, this is weird guys. How is this able to tell that 
Okay, I recently went for quite a few health checkups and they told me that I am lacking in iron and vitamin B12. So let's, oh my gosh, it literally says vitamin B12, higher needs. Everything is normal. Cool. That's so cool. How are they? How, 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 how did you know that? Maybe you also can test like soft skills such as memory skills and stress tolerance. <laughs> stress tolerance? Okay, memory skills, bad. You guys know how forgetful I am. Um, stress tolerance, I think good. I think pretty good. <gasps> stress tolerance. Oh my god, I'm a warrior. <laughs> There are three, warrior, neutralist, or warrior. So I'm a warrior. I was right. Like I have a higher stress tolerance and a strong sense of calm when faced with obstacles. That's true, that's true. I, 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 I like to think so too. Sleep quality. I'm an insomniac. That's also very true. I don't fall asleep that easily or that fast. And like a slight bit of like light, I cannot sleep really. How creative do you think you are? Uh, not creative at all. Zero. Okay, but I think the app will, will not be so mean. They will tell you that you are average. And I think when they say average, it means you're quite bad. <laughs> success traits, success traits. Let's see whether or not it's able to tell me like how my genes can influence my success. Okay, let me see. I would say I am not gifted in dancing. Okay, I, 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 don't, I can't dance for nuts. I can't sing. I guess because of what I do, I would say I'm more creative as a person. More leaning towards the artsy side rather than... Okay, and, and music-wise, I think like I'm not tone deaf, I'm quite on beat sometimes, like, yeah. But other than that, everything's very normal. My IQ is normal, <laughs> okay. EQ is normal. AQ is normal. Creativity is excellent. Ooh, not creative at all. Zero. Language ability, I'm gifted eh. Wow, really? Maybe, maybe, maybe that's why I, <laughs> I, I went to take Korean lessons. But it's actually kind of cool. Even though I feel like you shouldn't take these results as like, you know, like to let it determine who you are like, you know, even if they say you're normal or not gifted in a particular aspect. I feel that a lot of it, nurture can change um, how our nature being is like. If you understand what I'm saying. Okay, music and dance, music and dance. Okay, like I said, music, I think I'm slightly better. Dance is no. Dancing ability, normal. Musical ability, gifted. Wow. Maybe I should be a singer. Sports and fitness. Let's see. Okay, I gotta say, I am not that gifted with sports. Okay, what kind of, what kind of sports do I enjoy doing? And I think I score, I, I think I do better at like strength or resistance rather than like long distance or cardio or HIIT stuff. Very true. Optimal sports type, medium power, medium endurance and high strength. Oh my god, it says consider the following. Crossfit, badminton or gymnastics. I was a badminton player for eight years. Optimal training type, High strength, medium power, medium endurance. That's so true. Strength profile. High. <laughs> Behavioral traits. Alcohol addiction, less likely. Thank you very much. Obsession with washing and cleaning, definitely no. Because it's less likely. Smoking addiction, less likely. Oh, seems like I'm quite a healthy person. Gender. <laughs> Wait. I opened this without knowing what it was. Gender traits, breast size, likely average. <laughs> wow, this thing ah. Okay, there's only two options: likely average or likely larger la. So they say I'm likely average. Okay la, very true la, huh? Uh, female sex hormone levels only likely normal or likely elevated. I'm likely normal. Mhm. Mm Thrill seeking. 
It says that I'm a thrill seeker, man. Yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I think all in all, it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool to find out so many things about you. But like I said, I don't think we should, you know, take all of these results as if it is a health report. We should use these informations to kind of make better informed choices about the things that we are more suitable for. Like for me, I would say I'm quite aware of my own body. But for those people who are not, you know, you for all you know, you are like, better suited for strength training compared to like HIIT or like compared to like long distance running or anything so maybe this circles DNA results will be able to tell you better and of course I think the most fun part is finding out where ancestry so I'm gonna go home and ask my mom or my dad like who is the Korean in the family <laughs> or where I got my 4% from you know and you say, oh, yeah. Okay, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a comment if you have tried this before. What were your results like? Were they accurate or not? And also, I'm gonna leave all of the description in the description box below, including the promo code. So if you guys are interested, you can purchase it from there. I'll see you next time.